Then I took a smidge and applied it down there. This one's wife. I'll take your Oscar nomination. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The Golden Globes came and went, and quel surprise, this one's wife wasn't invited. The Oscars will soon come about. She hasn't been invited to that either, and she certainly hasn't been nominated for one, much as though she believes that she would be entitled to an Oscar, perhaps for her brave and stunning performance of dropping to the floor and sobbing. This one's wife's narcissism causes her to believe that she is naturally at home amongst the Hollywood set. It completely brushes over the fact that she doesn't belong there because she's a mediocre actress who is only known as a consequence of the man that she married. Her narcissism dispenses with factual problems such as the ones that I've just described. It locks them away, doesn't allow them to present themselves. If someone were to say to her, you know, the reason why the Hollywood A-list turns their back on you is that you're not one of them. You're a poor actress, you're only famous because of the man that you married, and your behaviour, quite frankly, stinks, which is why all of those people who have reputations to preserve don't want anything to do with you. She wouldn't immediately think, gosh, you're so right. That's the reason why. They don't return my calls. That's the why, reason why they cross the street to avoid me. Gosh, it's all so clear to me now. It simply doesn't compute. The individual telling her that may as well have been speaking gobbledygook for all of the understanding that she has of what she has just been told. The narcissism simply does not allow it to compute. What do you mean? That can't be accurate. I... I'm the amazing this one's wife, friend to all, defender of the weak, most shaggable woman on the planet, beauty personified. You are talking nonsense. It would cause her, rather than argue with this individual in a public place, to just smile dismissively at them and sweep by, thus going to a position of withdrawal to nullify the threat to control posed by such assertions and observations from that person. This one's wife believes, truly believes, that she belongs with the Hollywood set. This one's wife believes that the company of A-listers is her natural environment. This one's wife believes that she is imbued with greatness and belongs with all of these people and that when she's not invited to Oscar's ceremonies, that is a product of the twisted minds of haters who ought to know better. Nevertheless, she needs to wheedle her way by any opportunity into that particular environment, demonstrating that perhaps I might need to change her name to Tagalong or The Hanger-On. Of course, it's a supine publication that falls prey to the latest PR puff piece that is pumped out by this one's wife. Matthew Moore, writing from a basement in London, tells us, of course, courtesy of, Hello! This one's wife celebrating Oscars nominations following incredible recognition. <gasps> what news is this? Has she finally broken through? Has the Academy finally recognised her greatness and has awarded her an Oscar for Best Actress in a non-fictional representation, i.e. her life? Is it the case that finally the Academy realises the effort and skill that goes into producing one tear from the left eye? Go. Perhaps finally the Academy has understood how difficult it is to throw oneself to the floor and sob just as your husband walks in through the door. 
Finally, they've given her the recognition? Well, no. In actual fact, the subheading is The Duchess of Sussex is close friends with the after-director, Misen Harriman. This one's wife will no doubt be celebrating a close friend after the 2024 Oscar nominations were confirmed, with short film, The After, getting a nod from the Academy. The project has been nominated for Best Live Action Short Film, and The Duchess of Sussex is close friends with the film's director, Meeson Harriman, you may recall, he who is frightened by representations of tobacco plant workers and has to scurry around the shop making a scene. Meeson is currently the chair of the South Bank Centre, and in 2021 he shot the photograph that this one's wife and her husband, Prince Harry, used to confirm their second pregnancy. Meeson has also photographed the couple's daughter, Princess Lilibert. Talking about his friendship with this one's wife and Harry, Mizan previously said, When you see people who have the connection that they have, it's like reading the pages of a book. This one's wife reminded me that I had not introduced her to a mutual friend, then she wouldn't have met Harry. I'm grateful for whatever small part I played. Mmm, licky licky. <laughs> Slurpy bum time. This one's wife has shown her support for the project, joining her friend back in November at an L.A. Tastemakers event, where she spoke with the director and the film's lead director, David Oyelowo. You may recall this was when she told everybody that Archie wanted to like a camera. Mm, another revision of history. The After stars David, Jessica Plummer and Amelia Dacubo. And the Netflix synopsis reads, After witnessing a violent crime, a shattered rideshare driver picks up a passenger who forces him to confront his grief. <laughs> the film has already won several awards this season, scooping Best Short Film at the Astra Film Awards and the African American Film Critics Association. The film is Misen's directorial debut and premiered the opening night of the Holly Shorts Film Festival on 10th of August, where it also scooped Best Live Action. Also nominated for the Oscar Award are Invincible, Night of Fortune, Red, White and Blue, and The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar. Is that about Harry? This one's wife's joy for her friend will come amid a worrying time for the royal mum of two when she had to miss her husband pick up an award after one of their children fell ill. Hmm. Well, hello may be making reference to that, and in a later video I'll be explaining that actually that didn't happen, which won't come as a surprise to you. Notice here, once again, the desperation of this one's wife. Why could Hello have not written an article which basically stated, Meeson Harriman receives Oscar nomination, and then, like it does in the bulk of the article, talk about Meeson Harriman, the film, who's in it, etc. But it doesn't. Why? Because it needs to talk about this one's wife, because she's insistent on that being the case. And therefore, the slightest opportunity, the most tenuous of connections will be utilised by this one's wife to push her front and centre. In effect, she's elbowing Harriman out of the way for his Oscar nomination and behaving as if it were hers, because she's the one that has the headline. It's her picture that appears at the top of the article. Reference is made to her in the body of the article. It once again demonstrates the way that she has no boundary recognition. The fact that she needs the recognition, fuel, so with a sense of entitlement, she hijacks the achievement of another person, Misen Harriman, and makes it all about her. The typical behaviour of a narcissist, and is thrown into stark relief by the fact that she has no talent or ability, and therefore has to hijack that of others through character trait acquisition. It's a blatant example of the way that the narcissist comes along and takes over your moment of glory and makes it all for themselves, and emphasises that she really is the hanger-on, tag-along duchess. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you 
for listening.